Hey everyone, it's Jane, the Paris Asian girl. Today I'm doing a makeup tutorial for Valentine's Day, so if you want to recreate this look... Please keep watching. I've already washed and moisturized my face, so my skin is now ready for the primer. I'm using NARS Pro Prime Light Optimizing Primer, which is great to achieve this dewy skin look if you want to look glowy and radiant for your lover. Also, of course, it will create a nice base for your makeup to stay put all day. Then, I'm using Shiseido Synchro Skin Lasting Liquid Foundation in the shade Golden 3, and I prefer to apply it with my fingertips because I find with this foundation that it is the best way to apply it smoothly and to have the most blended and seamless finish so it looks just like your natural skin. After that, to finish off my base, I move on to concealer. I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser and applying it on my under eyes, the outside corners of my eyes, around my nose, and on any scars or redness on my face. As you can see, the sponge applicator has already done most of the job since I didn't put much product, but I'm still making sure it's super well blended in by tapping the product gently into my skin with my beauty blender. Now onto highlighter! I'm using the Luminizer Gel from Jelly Pong Pong Cosmetics, which is a very light texture gel with very fine rosy shimmer in it. I'm squeezing a tiny amount on my finger and I first blend it onto the back of my hand so I can control how much I put on my cheekbones. If I go a bit too far on the cheek, I just blend it out. And then, with whatever's left on my finger, I also swipe it across the bridge of the nose, the cupid's bow, and my chin. But I leave out the forehead because I'm always too oily on that zone already. The result is quite subtle and it's a very good base for the blush. Then, for blush, I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12-hour blush in the shade Blissful, which is a pinky coral tapping the excess off and dusting it onto my cheeks for a very natural flush. For that, I like to build it up slowly with light strokes, always blending it as much as I can. I now finish my base with a bit of powder. I'm using Leo Ali's Dollish Moisture Pack in Medium Beige, which is a very fine powder that keeps the moisture in, because I want to keep the radiance of the skin. I'm doing quick feathery swipes all across my face, focusing mainly on my T-zone and on the areas where I put concealer on. What I like to do now is curling my lashes with the Shurimura Eyelash Curler, as I have straight Asian fine lashes. My tip is to start at the base of the lashes, always squeezing gently, and repeat that as many times as possible all the way up to the tip of the lashes. Be very careful if you're not used to it, because if you squeeze too harshly, it will make your lashes fall more easily, and if you pinch your eyelid, it is very painful. It might be very scary at first, but I promise you that it is worth practicing and learning how to do it properly, especially if you have straight, thin, Asian-style lashes like me. After that, mascara. I'm using the Glam & Dull Waterproof Mascara from Catrice, which has a synthetic brush that really separates and coats every lashes. If you wonder why I do my mascara before applying eyeshadow, it's because I always apply it from the roots of my lashes and sometimes smudges may happen. As it is waterproof, I would need to use a cotton bud with waterproof oil-based makeup remover to dissolve it, so I prefer to clear everything right away before putting anything on my eyelids. Now it's time for eyeshadow, but just before that, of course, I'm applying a primer. For that, I'm using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. As you can see, I'm applying the tiniest amount and blending it to all the surface of my eyelid, going all the way up to the eyebrows and also very close to the lash line so that my eye makeup will stay in place all day long instead of creasing and disappearing throughout the evening. Then I'm starting with the Caviar Stick Eye Color from Laura Mercier in rose gold as a base color for my eye makeup. It's a very subtle pinky golden color and as I have quite a medium complexion, it looks like a very nudie shade on me and just gives a pretty sheen to my eyelids. So I'm applying it all over my lid directly from the stick and then blending it in with my fingers so that there's no harsh edges. After that, I'm applying a pink eyeshadow called Scratched from the Urban Decay Deluxe Eyeshadow Palette, which is quite an oldie, but you can still purchase the eyeshadow separately. It is a medium pink with warm undertone and almost a frosty finish without being cool toned. 
I'm applying it all over the caviar stick I just put on to bring out the pinky rose base of my eye makeup. Then I'm using the color Chopper from Urban Decay's Naked 2 palette, which is a rosy golden shade just on the outer half of my eyelids to create more dimension and bringing it down under to frame the entire eye. After that, I'm using a little more pointy brush for more precision and intensity to apply a darker shimmery brown color, which is the color infallible eyeshadow from L'Oreal in the shade O12 Endless Chocolat, focusing it on the outer crease of my eyes in a little V-shape to add more dimension to my eyes. Then I'm going in again with a fluffier brush and a little bit more of that shadow to blend it all in. And doing the same on the other eye. I'm always looking back in the mirror to get an overall view and with a cotton bud I swipe up the excess to even the eye makeup. You can see here I forgot to go in with a little brush at first on the other eye, so I'm doing that now to even the shape on both eyes. Then I'm applying a blend of Foxy and Booty Call, which are the two lightest shades of the Naked 2 palette, onto my brow bone, so that it brings out even more the colors I put on the lids, and I'm also blending it to the edge of the brown eyeshadow. I'm now bringing a touch of light by putting a very soft pale warm frosty pink with MAC's Naked Lunch eyeshadow just at the center of my eyelid. And then, with a wet, flat, angled cut brush, I'm using the color Busted from the Naked 2 palette and putting it onto my lash line to intensify and frame the eyes. I'm really using the sharp edge of the brush and doing very gentle strokes in the upper lash line and also the lower line, but I'm not quite starting at the inner corner, but rather somewhere in the middle so it doesn't make my eyes appear smaller. On the upper part, I just swing it out slightly up to enhance the almond shape of my eyes since I don't want a droopy eye look. I'm also going to use a waterproof aqualiner eyeliner from Makeup Forever, which needs to be shaken first, but this is totally optional. I'm using the shade 11, which is a sparkly deep purple, because I think that the colors would tie in well with the rest, but you could totally skip the step or use regular black eyeliner if you prefer. I'm applying it again with little strokes, trying to connect all the lines together, which is easier than drawing one perfect line from the inner to the outer ring without budging. You can also do little pressing motions onto the lash line by laying the brush flat just above the roots. Same thing at the end, I just create a little flick, but my goal here is not to do a statement eyeliner, but rather just trying to accentuate the general shape of my eyes. I'm doing that by extending the imaginary lower lash line up to the upper lash line, if that makes sense. To finish off the eye makeup, I'm going back with my mascara for one last coat, because now that the eyeshadows are fully applied, the lashes might disappear a little. Of course, you can also put some fake lashes, but I'll do that some other time. Also, if there were any eyeshadow fallouts on your lashes during the process, this extra coat of mascara will solve the problem. At this point, I'm less afraid of smudging mascara on my eyelids, because I'm not going all the way to the roots of the lashes, which I've already done just before putting eyeshadow, but rather focusing on giving them more length and volume. And I'm finishing with a bit of mascara on my lower lashes too, since I did put some eyeshadow to the lower line as well. I'm now using a tinted brow gel from Dior, which is in a dark brown color but with shimmers in it. Of course, you don't need the shimmer, but it does the trick on my black hair brows, and I'm mostly using it for the fix and gel part rather than the color. I just brush them through so that they stay in place and to achieve a more polished look. Finally, I'm finishing my look by applying a very light hydrating lipstick to my lips because for Valentine's Day, I want my lips to wear off nicely since there will be probably lots of eating and kissing involved. I bet your partner doesn't like to kiss a thick layer of lipstick and that you don't want to have a deep blood red lipstick smeared all across your face either. So that's why I chose this Chanel Coco Shine in a bright orange luminous red, which is the shade 114 Ship Shape. It's a hydrating lipstick, almost like a tinted lip balm. It gives more of a tint of color and lots of moisture rather than an opaque coat of pigment. It is very comfortable to wear and easy to reapply and it gives bouncy, juicy, kissable lips. Which is just what you want for Valentine's Day, right? 
So I hope you liked the look. If you recreated, please share your pictures in the comment section. I'll be doing also tips for traveling in Paris because I live in Paris. So if you want to see more, please subscribe. Thank you. See you later. A bientôt.